What's up, y'all? This is Christian from LRC doing day 24. Merry Christmas Eve uh, of uh, 31 Days of Character Creation, and we had a major sort of a, um, uh, event occurring in the uh, Gentle Fasaga yesterday with Emilio's uh, development with Grey Death, the Druid. And uh, so let's let's see what uh, let's see what we come up with for the the sort of uh, what happens with this confrontation. So ancestry is a six, and that is a human. The class is a three. That's a cleric. The background is a fourteen. That is a sage. A sage cleric. Come on. And then the oh non-binary. Awesome. Okay. So we have a human cleric sage uh, using they them pronouns. Okay. So boy, I. I want to say that uh, this cleric is working with the same monastery um, as uh, our character, um, oh, whoever the monk was. <laughs> Something of the walls. I forget now. Anyway, I think that this is, you know, a different sort of area of the monastery um, where they train clerics. And so I think that this cleric was actually driving the... Uh, cage slash cart um, that uh, Grey Death was being brought into town on. So maybe sort of disguised, hidden um, in that cart. Um, and maybe actually, well, let's see what the sort of stats are. Maybe this person works for the monastery. Maybe there's some sort of, you know, fell cleric or something like that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's take a look at the stats, see if those help us understand which side that this cleric was on. So we'll start with um, strength, and okay, that is 14. Dex is, that is also 14. Con is, uh, that's 11. Um, wisdom is, or sorry, intelligence is, ooh, that's a nine. Wisdom is, that's a 12, and then Charisma is 14. Okay, so somebody's strong and charismatic, not that intelligent. Um, are they on the light side of the force or the dark side of the force? Um, boy, I, I, I think that they're probably a neutral party. Um, who can be purchased, let's say. Um, and who got to them first is a question. I'm going to say that Davinia got to them first because uh, Davinia has a particular stake in making sure that this thing happens. So let's say that this cleric actually was trained in the same monastery, um, and, but uh, has sort of had a fall from grace and uh, is now kind of cleric for hire and so this cleric is there to ensure that Davinia is able to rescue and bring to her side Grey Death and so at the point of confrontation um, the uh, the forces of good are, are coming through to try to um, you know uh, ensure that uh, Grey Death is taken to you know wherever prison or something like that but instead um, our cleric character here puts up some sort of, you know, protective force uh, against uh, the heroes coming through and allows um, Divinia and the, oh, she, I think Divinia sent the Eviscerator, right, to just come and uh, just easily walk through the sort of magical barrier and just take this cart exactly where he wanted to take it, where Divinia has sort of told him to take it. And uh, you've got Slate there, too, who is uh, just sort of running alongside. He's a bit of a grunt at this point, uh, ensuring that, uh, that, uh, the, that Grey Death goes to Divinia's side. So uh, sort of a bad turn for the good guys here. Um, and uh, let's say that uh, this cleric's name... 
Um, again, sort of, this is a neutral kind of character, sort of for hire. This cleric's name is, um, uh, ooh, it's gonna have to be like, you know, Silvertooth, um, Silvertooth, uh, uh, North Star. Silvertooth North Star, the human fell cleric uh, with a sage background. I think probably another orphan raised to uh, scholarship in the monastery, um, but went a different way. So good luck to the gentle fists here. Thanks, guys.